Welcome, welcome, welcome to another rugby challenge for wishlist video. We're in the fourth episode of the series, and in today's video, we'll be talking about a beat on the beat. So, the set piece, among other things like the rolling moor, and in general, just situations around the rolling moor, the scrum close to the try line, and maybe delve into try scoring itself and goal line defense all right so beginning with the line out and honestly i don't think the line out or the set pieces in general need that much attention i do have a few quality of life improvement suggestions though and first up would be to add a faint option during the line out something as simple as a faint option would actually i reckon add a little more strategy to the line out or be it being in the form of a simple button press I guess against actual people, it'll be a good option to have in your back pocket. I was going to suggest something like line out specific set moves, but I think the best thing to do would be to keep the set piece as simple as possible, and they've done a great job of doing so in the past games. In Rugby Challenge 3, you can kind of do your own line out moves, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's mostly just creating space in the middle. With set players coming into the game, I guess it'll be nice to have some set piece moves. Another little change I'd like to see during the lineout is the options, the jump options. So the jump catch options currently in the game, you have jump, you have jump pass, and you have jump more. Now I'm not sure how others feel, but I feel like the jump by itself, that option is pretty useless to be honest. I mean, you make the catch and as soon as you hit the ground, you're tackled immediately. Uh, I think they could utilize that option to maybe the back of the lineouts or even use that as a faint option. And finally, it's not really a part of the lineouts, but the quick throw in. I know it's in the game at the moment, but it feels like you get no time at all to grab the ball and chuck it back into play. I think a lot of it has to do with the defensive player positioning. But yeah, as soon as that ball crosses the sideline, it almost instantly transitions to a cutscene. And I think we just need a little more time. So since we started with lineouts and the rolling mall is pretty much a part of a lineout, let's quickly talk about a feature I'd like to see added to the rolling mall. So the way it works in Rugby Challenge at the moment, pretty simple button pressing. And I actually like how it works. <laughs> I wouldn't really change much, but I would like the possibility to score tries like straight off the back of a rolling moor. Again, it's a little simple addition, but they do have this or they added this into Rugby 20. And actually thinking back, it's a little overpowered when someone goes to score a try from behind the moor. In Rugby 20 at least, you can't stop them because it's an animation playing. So I'm actually rethinking if I'd like to see that in the new game. I mean, yes, it would be nice to have in the game, but if you can't stop it, I really wouldn't want it in the game. I mean, they could add in goal line specific tackles or try saving specific tackles, which isn't rugby challenge also, but most of the time, all you need to do is just get tackled over the line and it's a try. I wasn't going to talk about it until I was done with set pieces, but you may as well while we're here. And that's the goal line defense. Like I said, they have try saving tackle animations in the game at the moment, but they're a super rare occurrence. Well, for me at least, most of the time, all you have to do is just cross that white line. And even if you're tackled before the try line and you fall over the line, it'll 98% of the time you will get that try. I mean, in my opinion, tries in general, they should be harder to score, especially when there's more defenders around or if you're being tackled beyond the try line. So I think there should be more held up animations and specific tackle animations for try line defense in general. So for example, in Rugby League Life 4, they have try line defense animations, and as you can see, the surrounding players do jump in and help flip the ball carrier on his back. I'd like to see something similar to that implemented into Rugby Challenge. I'm not saying to make it impossible to score tries, but I would like it to be a little more challenging, pun intended. Like say for instance, if there is more than one defender around the ball carrier attempting to ground the ball, those defending players should be gravitating towards the ball carrier, trying to stop him from getting the ball down. And yeah, I guess gang tackling in general should be more of a thing. And finally, finishing off with the set pieces, we'll move on to the scrum. And I think when it comes to the scrum, this thought is pretty universal. 
and that is shorter completion times. So how the scrum currently works, the little, the little mini game for the scrum, you have to push both analog sticks up when the lines meet, and sometimes you're gonna do that up to seven times, which in my opinion just takes way too long. So the fix for that is pretty simple. All you gotta do is just uh, decrease the time it takes to complete that little mini game. So instead of up to seven pushes, you should bring it way down to, I'd say three pushes at a minimum, maybe four. But yeah, other than that, the scrum's fine. I'm assuming set plays will be implemented into scrummaging. So yeah, that's pretty much it for scrummaging. And that'll probably wrap up my video for set pieces. Like I said, without overcomplicating things, there's a great foundation there for Wicked Witch to continue to build from, continue to tweak. Let me know in the comments section your ideas and thoughts around set pieces and the rolling more and goal line defense. Unfortunately, there still hasn't been any news on development, but I think, well, I hope that these wishlist videos and ideas will get to the developers. So if you have ideas, please feel free to drop them down in the comments section. But as always, if you'd like to see more rugby content or more content in general, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you, 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 you. later.